Hey guys, welcome to this video on summations. So here we want to evaluate the following summation. And the summation runs from i equals 1 to 12 of 5 times i plus 3. So let's go ahead and get started here and try to solve it. So first thing I'm going to do is rewrite our summation. So we have the summation from i equals 1 to 12 of 5 times i plus 3. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to split this up using the summation properties. So we're going to get the summation from i equals 1 to 12 of 5 times i plus the summation from i equals 1 to 12. And let me rewrite that make that look a little bit better. So to 12 of 3. Okay. So now what does this equal? Well, again, using some summation properties, we can pull out that um, uh, these two numbers 5 and 3, these constants, so we're going to get 5 times the summation from i equals 1 to 12 of i plus 3 times the summation from i equals 1 to 12 of 1. Okay? Alright, so now here we basically want to use a summation formula. Alright, so I'm going to switch my marker and I'm going to write them down over here. So I'm going to put a little note. So one summation formula runs from i equals 1 to n of i. And it says that if we have a summation in this form, then the formula will be n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay? And then we're going to use a, another summation formula. And this states that if we have a, a summation from i equals 1 to n of 1, then this is equal to n. Okay? So these are the two summations, uh, uh, summation formulas that we're going to use to solve and evaluate our current summation problem. All right, so let me switch markers back here. So now we can continue with this. So now we're going to get 5 times the summation from i equals 1 to 12 of i. So that means that we can use the formula here, the first one, and we can substitute out our value n for the value 12. So we're going to get 5 times 12 times 12 plus 1 divided by 2. Okay? And actually, I'm going to write this down a little bit further, uh, just so I don't have to erase the formula over here. So let's rewrite that. So we're going to get 5 times 12 times 12 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 3 times, well, up here we have the summation from i equals 1 to 12 of 1. So we can use this bottom formula here and substitute out n for the value 12. So we're just going to get n. So we get 3 times 12. And then this is equal to, let's see, uh, we're going to get 5 times, I'm going to do 12 divided by 2, so we're going to get 6. And then we have to multiply that by 12 plus 1, which is 13. Plus 3 times 12 is 36. Okay, and so now we're just going to get uh, 5 times 6 is 30 times 13 plus 36. Okay, and um, this is just going to equal, uh, well, let's keep going here. So this equals um, 390 plus 36, which is equal to 426. Okay, so that's the answer. Um, that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comments section. Uh, click that like button. Click that subscribe button. If you found it helpful, please share this video as well. It always helps out. 
And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.